And we're back to learning Escape, and this time I'm going to show you the taper stroke function. You can use that to make strokes thinner at the end and the start, so where the notes are. Let me create a line with the Bezier tool, and I increase the width, maybe to 10 millimeters. Let me give it a round cap, I press Ctrl D to copy it. The one at the bottom is selected, I go to Path and Path Effects. Click on the plus sign, and there is this taper stroke function. And you can already see the effect applied. You can adjust it numerically with the menu, so for example the stroke width. The start and the end offset, it determines where these circles are. You can see them when you activate the notes tool, but you can also drag them manually to the left and right. So the start offset is the one on the left. If you put it to the right, the number increases in the menu. Don't worry about this, it's just the node for the handle. The one for the end offset, it's on the right, and if you put it to the left, the number increases, so it's reversed. Keep that in mind when you want to adjust it numerically. You can increase or decrease the tapers moving. When you go below a zero, you've got these glitches, and when you go too high, you've got them as well. So try to shoot between zero and around one. For most lines, it should be fine. When you've got lines with a join, you can adjust the join type, and when you've got miter selected, you can adjust the miter limit. But for a single line, you only need the first parameters to adjust it. And this I can use the taper function in Inkscape. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.